Welcome back, boys and girls. It's Outdoors Jeff again. I wanted to do a part two to my uh, hot pepper growing uh, experiment here. Um, give you guys an update on what's going on here. So if you've seen the last video, you saw I had the, uh, the seedlings going in the uh, plastic tote with the heating pad. And uh, I, did, I, ha I made a mistake on the last video, and I want to correct myself right now before we get any further. I, I was mistaken when I said, you know, a lot of these hot peppers, uh, especially the super hots, were going to take, uh, you know, uh, 90 plus days uh, to germination. <clears throat> My apologies. I, I, I stand corrected on that one. After talking to a couple of other people, they say, well, it doesn't sound right. You know, it's a long time. And um, sure enough, a week after planting these, I got peppers popping. So, uh here's what happened you know you, you buy a lot of these seeds from online uh from you know a lot of them are coming out of china stuff like that different countries and you know the, the grammar and the wording is not always correct so you know a few of them said 90 plus days to germination what it should have said was 90 plus days from germination Meaning you'll have a mature plant in 90 plus days from the time that seed pops. So I stand corrected on that one. Uh, again, is you know this is new to me starting hot peppers from seeds, so uh, that I wasn't sure on. But I wanted to make that correction right there off the start. So anyway, welcome to phase two right here. Here we have the grow light I was telling you guys about in the last video. <clears throat> this uh, this is an LED grow light. Uh, I'm trying to remember the brand name. I don't think it's... Let me get in between the wires here and see if I can read this. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. There's about... You go on Amazon, there'll be 50 different versions of this light with 50 different names. I can't remember the name of this one. But you can't miss it. They all look the same. So it's just different companies slapping their different brands on it. Anyway, <clears throat> what I did was I took a basic cardboard box here. You can see I, I, I splice it to make it longer. I got a clothes rack going. Box is sitting up on the clothes rack. I got a heating pad underneath here, like I do in the plastic bin, keeping those seedlings warm. So what I did was use the clothes rack to hang my, hang my light from. It comes with all these attachments. Uh, you hang it here. I cut out a piece of, uh, this is a piece of coroplast um, that I stole from work here. Now, I want to show you the light. This is, uh, we're going to lift this up a little bit to show you what's going on in here. If you look in, here's my little guys growing down in here. Uh, we'll try to get a little further to show you guys. Uh, there we go. They're looking good. They're looking real good. Nice vivid green. They're really, they're really standing up. Again, this isn't even a week, you know. Uh, it's looking good. I like this light because here's why. It comes with full spectrum colors. And it's a little bright, I apologize. Has two cooling fans, one here, one here. That's releasing heat. Well, it's sucking the heat in, I believe. It doesn't feel like it's blowing out, so I think it's suck they're sucking the heat in that blows out these vents here. Cooling, which is blowing a little bit down into the box, which should be keeping some ventilation in there for the plants, I, I believe. Um, this is a full spectrum light. We have the grow mode here, and you can also flip on bloom mode, which adds a red hue, as you can see. Really changes the look. We'll turn off the grow side. Boom, that's strictly, that's strictly for blooms. That's very bright, I apologize. It doesn't work too well on a camera. Um, you could use the both to grow your vegetation, to grow the plant bigger, stronger, and this is gonna promote fruit producing, flower producing. We don't need this right now. We're working with seedlings. I only want vegetation mode. That's all I need right now. We gotta get these plants up to size. Try to mature them a little bit by uh, springtime here. I do live up in New England, so it's uh, probably looking at eh, probably early May, I'm hoping, weather pending. We'll get these guys outside. Of course, you know, I got a lot more going in the other room in the plastic bin still, waiting to pop. So, 
I am going to run out of room in this box. What am I going to do from there? Well, uh, some are going to go in a window, and we'll see how they fare, you know? We'll, uh, maybe we'll cycle them back and forth, you know, a week and a week or something like that. Try to keep them, uh, keep them all healthy until I can get them outside. <clears throat> yeah, but that's what happens when you work with limited space, so. That's my setup. The light came with the, the, uh, thermometer and humidistat. Uh, the hangers. Uh, really a good deal. You know, like I said, Amazon again, you can get them all, you know, 50 bucks and under this particular model. This is a 600 watt. Uh, I got it plugged in on a timer. Uh, a lot of the people are recommending 18 hours a day for hot peppers uh, of light. I think I'm going about 17 right now. I got her coming on about uh, 6 a.m. in the morning and it's going until about 11 o'clock at night. And it has that overnight cooling period, uh, which the plants do like. They like they do like to cool down. Uh, from what all the research I've seen, pepper plants do like to cool down a little bit, and they do like to dry up a little bit. Uh, so I don't go too crazy watering them. Not in here, anyway. As far as getting the seeds going in the other room, yes, definitely. We want the moisture and humidity. But uh, <clears throat> that's the project so far, people. I got a bunch of different strains going in there right now. Everything from... Uh, you know, jalapeno up to, uh, I don't know, death spirals and scorpion pepper. I mean, there's a lot of this, some brutal hot stuff in there. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do with all those yet. Uh, some hot sauces, spices, stuff like that. That's my plan. But that's what I got going right now, folks. Uh, you know, as you say, I also lined the box inside with aluminum foil. You can see that on the outside here. It's a little bright to see. I apologize, but... Line the whole box on the inside with aluminum foil, and what that does is it reflects, light shines down. If I didn't have that foil, just a cardboard box, I'm only illuminating the tops of the plants. As they grow and get bigger and produce more leaves, you know, they might, you know, shade each other a little bit, and you're not getting, you know, certain leaves aren't getting the light. By lining the whole thing, sides and bottom, with aluminum foil, that light is reflecting all over the place, back and forth in there. I'm going to illuminate all the leaves. I'm going to illuminate the undersides of the leaves. It's going to get a tremendous amount of light by just by reflection from the aluminum foil. So that works well. Uh, if you ever look at a grow tent yeah, that they sell, it's the same principle. Um, just reflecting that light that's in there. And they usually say you want about two feet off your plants. As they get bigger, I'm going to have to raise the bars on this uh, clothes rack. And, you know, make some modifications to the, you know, the, the light and stuff. And uh, right now I'm using this uh, core plast on here. Uh, retains a little warmth inside the box. And most importantly, it's not blinding me. Because believe me, the first few days I had this going without the core plast on there, it is bright. My God. This this room is like sitting on the beach on a July day with that thing going. So it is bright. Uh, amazing. If you're on for LEDs, 600 watts. Uh, I don't know what my electric bill is going to look like after this puppy, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, folks, I just wanted to give you a quick recap on that. Uh, I'll have another video in the future that will uh, show you the progress of the plants, hopefully, and... Uh, once we get them outside, guess you know a lot of these are gonna go in pots outside. I just don't have the ground space for all these plants because uh, I have a very limited garden space out back uh, where I live, and I, and I do want to get some other stuff in the ground, you know, carrots, beets, those kind of things. So um, th this uh, this a lot of these are gonna go into pots. You know, I, I got one gallon, two gallon pots. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of dirt. I'm, I'm contemplating just getting a truckload of dirt dropped here, really. Uh, the amount of plants I'm going to have, that's, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of dirt. I don't know if I want to be buying that much soil in bags. That's, that could add up pretty quick. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's all I got going right now, people. Just wanted to give you a quick, uh, video on that. Uh, and I also have props to, uh, Radical Ralph Russo, uh, a friend of mine here on YouTube. Uh, some of the seeds going are his strains, and a couple of them popped. The, um... Red Baron peppers I have going. Uh, really looking forward to them. Very delicious peppers. My God, they are tasty. Uh, 
I think they're his own uh, special hybrid, I, I believe. I don't think you'll ever find one in a the store. They are incredible. What a, a nice roasted, uh, roasted smoked flavor almost to them. Incredible. One of the most tastiest hot peppers I've ever had. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, there'll be more in the future. And uh, I'm still hoping to get some uh, free time to myself, which is next to impossible with uh, working kids. But uh, <laughs> I do. Have, I want to get back out to the woods, make some more videos for you guys, survival videos. I got a lot of stuff I want to work on for you, stuff I want to show you, and I'm looking forward to getting out there. All right, folks, thanks for watching.